Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Jeremiah Karanja of Windsor. Welcome to the program. All this week I've been sharing a message that I've entitled, Dealing or Confronting the Spirit of Discouragement. The Lord is your lifter and He will lift your countenance. God has always gone before us in this journey after calling us. He never leaves us alone. And Jesus addresses Peter right before he goes to the cross because he knew that Peter was going to face a moment that was going to be very difficult. And uh, so Jesus actually says to Peter in Luke chapter 22 and verse number 31 and 32, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. And Peter responded and he said, Lord, with you I'm ready both to go to prison and even to go to death. But the Lord responded by saying, Today, before the cock crows three times, you are going to deny me three times. And the scripture says uh, that same day, later on, Peter is confronted by some people as Jesus is being tortured and he is going to the cross. And verse 60 and 61 actually says, after he is asked, Do you know this man? Uh, verse 60 says, uh, Man, I do not know what you're talking about. And immediately while he was still speaking, a cock crawled. Verse 61 says, And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had told him before the, a cock crawls, Today you will deny me three times. And the Bible says in verse 62, And he went out and wept bitterly. Peter was so discouraged because he denied the Lord and he felt like it's over. And the scripture says he went out and wept bitterly, very, very discouraged. But what we do not want to lose sight of is that Jesus had predicted this moment in his journey. And he said to Peter, I got you covered. When you get there, I will make sure that you turn because I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. And it's very interesting because when Jesus is risen from the dead in the book of John chapter 21, and he, he finds the disciples uh, catching fish uh, in one of, the, uh, one of the lakes, I think is Tiberias. Uh, Jesus actually goes and finds them fishing. And towards the end, after they come to the shore, he confronts Peter again. And he says to him, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than this? And he said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And he repeats that question three times. And Jesus, three times, he says these words to him, feed my lambs. In other words, the very three times that he denied him, three times Jesus reaffirmed him. Yes, you are back on track and you are going to do a work for me. Feed my lambs. And those words encourage me because I know that even when moments come of discouragement and fear and we feel like we have done the unthinkable and God will never use us again, we are discouraged in ourselves. God comes and says, I have prayed for you. Jesus is our high priest, always praying for us. Never forget that. In the moments that you're discouraged, Jesus, your high priest, is still on the throne before the Father interceding for you. And you will turn and you will rise and you will be repositioned back to serve God and finish the course for which he ordained for your path. Be encouraged this, this morning because God is a finisher of what he starts. And discouragement will not stop him from lifting you up 
and bringing you all the way to your destiny. I declare that you will finish well, no matter what has come against you, the vision and the dreams God has given you, you will recover and you will rise up and serve God and finish the course that is ahead of you. Father, I pray for anyone that is going through discouragement at this time. I pray that you break the, the spirit of discouragement. I speak life. I speak encouragement and I speak the faith of God to rise in them, my Father. In Jesus' name, amen. You've been listening to Pastor Jeremiah Karanja of Windsor, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word. 